Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So it's time for my favorite event. It's time for Pow Kitty. Yes, because they are back. They have returned with a new pocket game player. And oh boy, they are releasing so many of bloody systems. When it comes to arcade controls, game systems, it's just unbelievable how much stuff you can find when it comes to this brand. And I'm reviewing like uh, a couple of years now and I have reviewed so many of the Pow Kitty devices and the Pow, Pow Kitty is the model A66 and this model is something completely different yeah today we're going to do something of a review of a product that is actually like handheld like I've reviewed many of them but this time it comes in the form factor of a very thin I want to say credit card format because you would like have a very thick credit card but you're getting the point it's super tiny and this is like a pocket handheld that you can bring with you it's fairly easy but the question remains what can you play with it so first of all it comes with a very short type c cable no idea why it's so freaking short then we're going to get a very extended more like a deluxe toilet paper manual with some explanations is it in english yep and this explanation is quite good like there is uh, everything about safe and load options settings stuff that you can set up how everything works and you name it it's in the manual so if you have any question when getting the device like this read the manual but let's take a close look at the hand itself because of the things that i really love and i really hate about this bloody thing so when the handheld came out i was completely flabbergasted i was more like wait what what did they make because we're on the road of like metal handhelds, five inch, seven inch of fun. People complained in the past a lot about these tiny displays. And I completely understand because uh, playing for a very long time on 3.5 inches or even smaller, it's not very comfortable. This thing does have an IPS display. But yeah, let's talk about the D-pad. The D-pad is basically a plastic D-pad and it is connected with four separate micro switches. I'm gonna say when you're playing it, it's not that bad. But I'm just going to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of these clicky micro switch D-pads. And at the right, we're going to get more like the A, B, X, and Y. Same story for clicky micro switches. Then we're going to get three buttons at the front and speaker at the right. It's tiny, goes quite loud, but it gets a little bit high pitched when you're cranking up the volume. Over here, we're going to get the Type-C, an option for adding an SD card. And when we're switching it over here, we can see like two micro switch shoulder buttons. But the shoulder buttons are not really comfortable if you ask me. What I do like about this is this metal shielding at the back or this back body. And if you're going to put it in your pocket, it will not bend very easily. So that sounds kind of okay. Yeah, but let's turn it on and let's see what actually this thing can do. Because it's all fine, you can put it in your pocket, but what actually can it play? Okay, so let's turn it on with this tiny button over here at the right. Oh. Over here we're going to get the blue LED that shows that it will power on. Welcome. Thank you. And let's see what this bloody thing can do. So when booting up, it comes with this very strange menu. So it has the capability of course having emulator and play retro games, but also has the option to play homebrew games. So let's go to the game section. You're going to get open terrarium that we have seen before, sea dogs. Digger stuff that we have seen before with, let's say, open Dingux devices. Or slide over here, we can see like we're going to get the thumbnail. Here we're going to get in the file system. We can mess around if you want to. Settings, key mappings, language, volume. And so far I understand, so this is one of the ways you can adjust the volume. Don't know where this music is from. The right. You can even crank up the background music if you want to. Brightness control. It has been set 10 of 10. Factory reset and of course device information, hardware test and stuff like that. So it's quite an interesting thing. What? Let's take a close look at the retro game. So what you can do is playing some old school 8-bit, 16-bit. It says it play PlayStation 1, but I highly doubt that. So let's take a close look at some gameplay. So first of all, I do love this display that comes in the machine because the machine is tiny, but it does have a nice IPS display. Oh boy. Oh man. This thing is so not comfortable and the D-pad is awful. Like I hate it. It ruins my sonic gameplay. Ugh. 
Okay, so we're pressing the middle button. We're going to get this menu. Then we have like an option to continue, save, load, and even change the volume on here. It's quite an interesting option, but it's there. So let's go to some of the games and let's see how it runs. Yeah, so this is what I was afraid of. So this tiny handheld, I find it quite interesting with the technology nowadays, what they can make for the money. But when you want to try some arcade games, it doesn't run at all. Like, look at this. It's like running like crap. It's quite disappointing. So we're not going to even try PlayStation 1 because it doesn't even run either. Oh boy. All right, so next up, some 16-bit power, fake power. Yeah, and just see how this will run in the end. So when it comes to these 16-bit games, let's be honest, there are so many different handhelds you can play on it. But this game seems to be playing just fine. Yeah. All right, so another 60-bit stuff because simply the other ones doesn't even run well. Yep, beef cake mode. But yeah, I would say I can still play the game, but it's not comfortable at all, not at all. Alright guys, so what do I think of this? So I'm just going to be honest, with this PAU KDA66, I completely don't know what they wanted to do with this. Yeah, they want to bring out a handheld that's powerful enough to run into, into PlayStation 1, but when you're looking at the performance, it's not that great out of the box. Maybe in the future they'll get some better improvement of the software, that you can play some more games, think about arcade MAME, but that's it. Like this tiny display, it's an IPS and a beautiful display, don't get me wrong, but this thing is like not comfortable in any way. Yeah, I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become on the Wicked family, and I will see you in the next video.